Okay.
microphone check one two microphone check one two microphone check microphone check one two microphone check one two
We honor our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ, our God and Father, the Chairman of the Board, to our Honorable Fable Williams, MP, Member, Minister of Education and Youth, to our Chairperson, Principal and Staff, of this great school to all those who are gathered here today to our students let me say good morning and praise the Lord as we are gathered here this morning we want to acknowledge our maker or Lord we want to make sure that is with us and that we are in fellowship with him the prophet David said blessed is the nation whose God is the Lord and so that we acknowledge him today could we just engage our hearts in prayer as we bow heads to talk to him Let's bow our heads everywhere. Our Father and our God, our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Lord, we do thank you for the gift of life. We thank you for your grace and your mercies. We thank you, Lord, that you have given us such opportunity Lord, to be a part of a community where we can be of fellowship, we can be of good support to one another. Lord, we thank you for this opportunity, Lord, to serve and to be served. Father, we pray that you will forgive us today, forgive us of all of our shortcomings, and help us to forgive. We pray, Lord, that you'll continue to provide for us, and even so for this school, this institution, Ferncourt High School. Lord, we can reflect on the years past and how you have brought this school through many dangers, through many avenues of challenges, but Lord, you have brought us. And so we give you thanks this morning as we reflect on your goodness through the years. Father, we pray that this day will be one to be remembered. We ask your blessings. We ask your presence. We ask, Lord, that everything will be done decently and in order. We ask, Father, that you continue, Lord, to abide with us as we salute you, as we acknowledge you to have had all power and all glory because thine is the kingdom, the power and the glory forever and ever. Amen. Uh, this time, just a short scripture from the word of God. Proverbs chapter 3, verse 5 and 6. Trust in the Lord with all thine heart. Lean not to thine own understanding, but in all thy ways acknowledge him, and he shall direct thy path. We pray that the Lord will be acknowledged, that he'll become first in our lives. And if we do that, he will guard our hearts, he will guide our steps and he will take us through the journey of life. I conclude this morning's devotional exercise by saying that the good master, our Lord, the greatest teacher and the greatest friend, he will keep us, he will change us to be what he wants us to be 
and we can bear his name as we pray, as we seek him. Let today be a day of fellowship and we share love to each other. And don't forget to acknowledge him in all we do. God bless you in the name of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Thank you, Bishop Paul Block. It's now my privilege and honor now to welcome all of you to our Open Day and Wellness Fair 2023. We also want to welcome our Minister of Education and Youth, Honorable Favel Williams, who will also be our guest speaker this morning. Let's give her a round of applause. Ms. Carleen Segree, Director, Regional Educational Services, Region 3, also a past student. Welcome. Bishop Paul A. Block, Minister from the Discipleship and Restoration Ministry, Monique, also a past student. Welcome. Dr. Vincent Riley. President of the Past Student Association Local Chapter. Welcome, sir. So it's a number of past students will be sharing with you this morning. Let's give them a better round of applause. Give them the front court high style. Our vice principals, representatives from the St. Anne Health Department, Bank of Nova Scotia, Brownstone Community College, Hart NTA, Jamaica Money Market Brokers, Jamaica National Bank, Ministry of Labor and Social Security, Money College, National Commercial Bank, National Insurance Scheme, Northern Caribbean University, Registrar General Department, Tax Administration Jamaica, University of Commonwealth Caribbean, our academic staff, past students, parents, students, those who are watching online, good morning. Good morning and welcome to our Open Day and Wellness Fair 2023, which is also part of our 85th anniversary celebration. Let's give a round of applause for 85 years of Fernquart High School. It's a lot and we will continue to strive for excellence and our minister will talk to you more today. So today I want you to relax, view the different display of our students' work and participate in different activities we have in store for you this morning and to also engage in our health services, vocational wellness, financial wellness and social. So I wish you all the best and we will continue the program as stated. Now we invite the FHS school choir to, for a musical item, followed by the introduction of our keynote speaker by Miss Carlin Segree, and you will hear from our minister. Welcome again. Students, I know this sun is hot and I want you just to be patient with us, but be quiet and the quicker we'll go, the quicker you'll be out of the sun, all right? So I know it's hot, so just be patient with us. So if you have your umbrella, you can take it out. I know it's sun is hot and just be patient with us. Thank you. 
Master of Ceremonies, Principal Sheldon Thomas, specially invited and distinguished guests, members of the board, teachers, students, friends all. Good morning. Good morning, students. This morning, I have a task, the pleasant task, of introducing to you our guest speaker. Do you know who the guest speaker is? Somebody said no over here. Do you know who the guest speaker is on this side? Who is the guest speaker? Say it again. No, man, you have to, you have to, you have to do it better than that. What is her name? Okay, somebody said Miss Favel Williams. Anybody want to fix it up a little bit? They're correct, but you want to fix it up? The Honorable. Very good. Put your hands together for yourselves. <laughs> yes. So give me a few moments to share with you some information about our Minister of Education. Will you listen? Okay. Mrs. Favel Shirley Williams hails from the quaint community of Ty Dixon in St. Catherine. She is a chartered financial analyst by profession and holds a master's in business administration with a concentration in finance from the Wharton Business School at the University of Pennsylvania and a Bachelor of Arts cum laude in economics from Harvard University in Cambridge, Massachusetts. She obtained her secondary education at Fern Court High School in St. Anne, Jamaica. Mrs. Williams's career spans across Jamaica and the United States of America in several top financial and real estate institutions. At Morgan Stanley, an American multinational financial services corporation, she worked as an information systems analyst. Further, she served in the capacity of a senior vice president at Putnam Investments in Boston, a top 10 global mutual fund manager. She also had portfolio management responsibilities for an equity portfolio product and led Putnam's efforts to incubate a market neutral hedge fund. Her stock recommendations outperformed the Standard & Poor 500 during 1997 to 2001. Mrs. Williams' investment experience also includes approximately five years as a vice president at a Wellington Management Company in Boston, Massachusetts. Her focus was on fixed income securities investments. Prior to Wellington, she was a fixed income analyst at Northwestern Mutual Life Insurance Company in Milwaukee, Wisconsin, and shared portfolio management responsibilities for a U.S. $3 billion portfolio. She was a member of the dynamic team that provided macroeconomic and the market input for both strategic and tactical portfolio decisions. In her professional career, Mrs. Williams also gained experience at equitable real estate investment management in Chicago, Illinois. While there, she performed valuation analyses on commercial real estate properties. Now, upon returning to Jamaica, Mrs. Williams continued to serve in the areas of finance and real estate. She served as Chief Investment Officer at JMMB Limited 
from March 2005 to September 2007 with investment responsibilities spanning the trading department, investment, research, and pensions. During the period September 2002 to February 2004, she consulted with JMMB in the areas of market risk management and investment research, where she led that company's efforts to develop investment research capabilities. In 2004, Mrs. Williams also consulted with the Financial Services Commission, the FSC, in the area of research and policy. Following this experience, she went on to serve for seven years as executive director of Kingston Properties, a real, in real estate investment trust company. This experience saw shareholders' equity growing from $406 million to $796 million up to the time she departed office in 2015. A dynamic leader in the financial and real estate worlds, Mrs. Williams made the grand entry onto the political landscape when she was sworn in on March 10, 2016 as a member of parliament in the House of Representatives representing the people of St. Andrew Eastern. Since then, she has been serving the constituency as its member of parliament. Her successes and leadership in government includes one, the first female to serve as minister in the Ministry of Finance and the Public Service. The first female minister of science, energy, and technology. You want to put your hands together for those two, right? Yes. Currently, she is the Minister of Education and Youth. Under her leadership, the education system was returned to full recovery amid the COVID-19 pandemic. A Christian and a family woman, she is married to Leah Williams and they have two children. Fernquart family, I present to you a daughter in whom we are all so proud. Alumni past student extraordinaire. The Honorable Mrs. Favel Williams, Minister of Education and Youth. Please put your hands together and give her a warm Fernquart welcome. Good morning, everyone. Good morning, Fern Court High School. Good morning. I know you're feeling warm right now with the sun. Let me say thank you to Miss Sagri for that introduction. And I think all I need to say now is amen. And we can go, right? to see all the exhibition. Yes. <laughs> Thank you, Mr. Gree. Students, let me assure you that my speech is going to be shorter than the introduction. <laughs> <laughs> let me begin by acknowledging here Mr. Sheldon Thomas, principal. Let me acknowledge all the vice principals who are here, all our teachers. Teachers, let me see you. Yes, our teachers. I hope you got paid. Awesome. <laughs> <laughs> or else it would be Mr. Thomas's <laughs> responsibility. 
Let me acknowledge properly Miss Kylene Segree, the effervescence regional director, region three, and her team. Let me acknowledge as well, Bishop Black, who gave us the prayer this morning and the exhortation. Let me acknowledge all of you students and the parents who are here, ladies and gentlemen, and let me say congratulations on a number of fronts to achieving 85 years. It takes a lot to sustain a school for that long. Give yourselves a round of applause, students. Let me say congratulations as well to the team that will be representing Fern Court High School at Penn Relays. Yes. Give a round of applause to the choir and the band. Those things were not present when I was attending Fern Court, so I am delighted to be basking in them now. Students, as you heard, I am a proud past student of Fern Court High School. When I started here many decades ago, and I won't tell you how many, obviously the school was not as large as it is today, not as many classrooms, not as many students, not as many teachers. So I can see how much it has grown over the years. When I started here as well, I started in second form because in those days, you had to take the common entrance and if it didn't pass the common entrance, and you take the technical entrance, right? So I started in second form. I didn't know a lick of Spanish when I got here. And neither did any of the students in second form because we were all starting in second form. And so the Spanish teacher walked in, Chris. Buenos dias, alumnos. Nobody answered. Whatever she said, whatever it was. Buenos dias. <laughs> Nobody answered because we had no idea. Students, we have since learned a whole lot. And I know that you are exposed to much here at Fern Court High School. And I would implore you to take advantage of everything that is here. Special acknowledgement of the six formers. Six formers, where are you? Yes. We didn't have a six form then. So I'm, I'm always shouting out to our six formers. You are the leaders in the school. You're part of the leadership. So it is good to be here with you again, the second time this week. We celebrated the 85th anniversary at the church service on Sunday, and that was a wonderful event as well. And after that service, I came here for lunch, but also to open the new upgraded computer lab have you seen the computer lab? Have you seen the new laptops? Not yet? They haven't let you touch them yet? Where is the, where is the technology teacher? Your lab, your computer lab has been outfitted. I understand you have two labs, right, principal? They have been outfitted with Brand new laptops, 49 new laptops, 
available for you for your classes all right we want you to become as technology savvy as you can and so we have to ensure that in our high schools in particular we have the devices available to you so I'm delighted that we were able to do that I want to see a show of hands as well those of you who have accessed your MOEY email and downloaded your Microsoft 365 uh, application now many I'd like you to go to your MOEY email today we have sent you a link for you to click on all the teachers as well and download you will have access to Microsoft Word Excel teams notes a whole host of Microsoft products and especially to you who are doing CSEC and CAPE you will have Microsoft Word Excel to help you to do your SBAs all right so I'm gonna follow up with the principal and I'm gonna ask him how many of you have downloaded that right the ministry has put that in place for you to have and we don't want it to just sit there and you're not accessing it additionally we are working to ensure that Fern Court High School has adequate broadband connectivity all across the campus pretty soon that will happen I know that the technicians are working to ensure that and in time wherever you walk on the campus you should have access to connectivity so we're working to ensure that we have technology in our schools because we know that is the way of the world now and that your students need the skill as you complete your education so students I know it's never easy to navigate through changes but the leadership of Fern Court has shown us over the years that we can draw strength from a compelling vision, meaningful purpose, and tenacity of will. Likewise, our education system must continue to evolve to continually prepare our students to be future ready in the journey of life. In addition, while it has evolved over the years, Fern Court has held fast to its commitment to provide all students with a quality education, encouraging them to envision different futures for themselves. Many have made their mark. You heard Mr. Gree this morning. Many of those who've graduated from Fern Court High School have made their mark in diverse areas and are contributing to Jamaica's development beyond. As we participate in this week's activities, and today's in particular, it is an opportune time to reflect on the achievements amidst the challenges, on those who have contributed to making Jamaica a better place, achieve greatness, and I ask of you that you continue to hold that at the forefront of your minds. The Ministry of Education and Youth will continue to help you or students find different pathways to success and to nurture your confidence and curiosity so that lifelong learning becomes the norm and not the exception. I'm happy to note as well that alumni in Jamaica and the diaspora readily share their experiences and insights with you and that they contribute quite a bit to this school. So know that when you graduate, you will be joining a very strong alumni base. 
as you seek to make your contribution back to your school. All our schools play an instrumental role in instilling in our students the right values, the right attitudes. But to our students, I have to say to you this morning, as I observed while we were singing the national anthem, many of you were not in the correct stance of the national anthem. Some were folding their arms, some were drinking from their water cup or their jug. Um, some of you were doing everything else. And I want you to demonstrate to me right now, when you hear the national anthem playing, what should be your stance? Let me see it. Every one of you, what should be your stance? And if you're walking, and you hear the national anthem, what should you do? Stop and take your stance. All right, boys and girls, our national anthem is distilling in us a sense of national pride, and it is to be honored. And the way we stand is a part of that honoring of our national anthem. Thank you, students. Thank you. So Farncourt High School, in closing, as you know, is known for many things. Due to its prolific participation in national school competitions, such as the Grace Issa Boys and Girls Championships, and you're watching, right? TVJ's championships, well, TVJ's All Together Sing and Schools Challenge Quiz. In addition, there are academic clubs and community service organizations. And in reading about the Schools Challenge Quiz, I have to let you know as well that I'm not the only one from my family who attended Fern Court High School. My brother also attended, and he was on the Schools Challenge team. So we go, we go back a long ways with Fern Court High School. Obviously, it's part of my experience, part of my uh, upbringing. It's, it's the foundation on which I stand today. And so, students, I want to impart that to you to continue to excel in whatever you do. The world is open to you. There are many different paths to success, and that is what we're trying to instill in you as you go through your studies here at Francourt. So let me close by again congratulating you on the celebrations this week on the 85th anniversary and to wish you at least another 85 years, at least, right? I know that the chairman has been asking for more classrooms and Miss Agree, I am committed. She's told me what she has done so far and we are committed to ensuring that Fern Court expands in the way that the board uh, is planning its expansion. We're here to support, and as we go along, we'll give you some firmer information, firmer time frame about um, what we're doing. So students, I want to see your exhibitions. I want to interact with you before I leave. And I wish you all the best and all the success in all that you do. Thank you. Can we put our hands together for our keynote speaker, the Honorable Favel Williams, past student of Ferncourt High School, 
Franklin High School students, please put your hands together one more time for our keynote speaker. At this time, I now invite Olivia, a grade 11 student, to come and express our appreciation to our minister. Um, the Honorable Favor Williams, I now invite you to come forward as I present to you our token of appreciation. All right, so on behalf of the Fern Court High School, which I'm a proud member of also currently, I'd like to present these two tokens to you. It is our honor to have had you here today, and I know you'll still be here to go around and visit, and we hope that we'll see you more as our proud alumni of this institution. We are very poor, proud as Frank Court students to know that, hey, the education minister is our past student, and for that, we just want to present all of this to you and hope to see you again. Thank you so much. Can we put our hands together again one more time for Court High School family? Good. Thank you very much. And I must tell everyone that this art piece was done by our own student here, Olivia Stewart. All right? Good job. Moving on with our program, at this time I'm going to be inviting the cheerleading team to do their presentation. All right. As you all know, Frank Court High School cheerleading team entered the reggae cheer competition for the very first time and was placed second in this competition can in the national competition can we put our hands together for our cheerleading team
three, two, one. Let's go. Level up, 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 level up. All this on me so yummy, all this sauce so yummy. No, you won't just yummy, yummy all in your tummy. All right. Wow. That was beautiful. I'm sure you all agree with, with me that that was beautiful. Can we put our hands together for Frankfurt High School cheerleading team? Excellent. Excellent. At this time, I invite Miss Khalil Shevanese from grade 7 to do her presentation. She's not here? She's, where's she? Where's she? Yes. And she needs to use the mic, Miss Smith Marsh. Okay. All right, students, let us settle down now and get ready for a presentation from our grade seven student. All right? Let us settle down. Thank you. Evelyn Grandma. Evelyn, Evelyn. No, so I get one warmer cut up, but say white history of fern coat, but I remember see I got a fern coat. I can't tell me something. All right, come, come, come pick me look rice grain them. Come. Pick it good. No. She started with head girls in the cool hills of Louvain, but soon grew beyond that domain to see that in Claremont. Armed with a new identity, Fern Court, the girl soon got company and she expanded once again. Labor wink it that read from the language. She offered music, maths, and sciences, grooming our ladies and men to dominate. Mother Iris was joined by five other mothers and six fathers. Father Sterling being the first to transition from student to principal, making us proud. The hard work conquers. The button is now in the hands of the young and purposeful Father Sheldon Thomas. I'm a principal dot. Hi, hi, sit down. Me not done. So to all the generations that made her what she is and was, big up themselves. We are marching towards one goal, reuniting or Z for greatness. Go put on the Go and go change your clothes, yes. and then you put on the water for do the local rice. Right. Go on. <laughs> All right. Thank you very much. Can we put our hands together for her? Give them a round of applause for me, please. All right. So students, we're winding down now. At this time, we're all going to stand and we're going to be quiet and we're going to be singing our school song, after which we will move into the touring of our exhibitions, all right? So we're going to get ready now for the singing of our school song.
and well-wishers, we have now come to the end of our opening ceremony and it is now time for us to go and view the exhibitions. But students, we're going to be doing so in an orderly fashion. So I'm going to ask that you wait on your form teachers and your form teachers will be escorting you to the various areas. So students, at this time, you're going to turn around in your lines. Stay where you are for me. Grade 7. Turn around, grade seven, grade eight, get ready to turn around in your lines and you're going to move to your respective classes and your teachers will escort you to the areas. Thank you very much everyone for sharing in our opening ceremony this morning. This is Franklin High School Open Day 2023.